Good morning or afternoon and welcome everybody. We're here today to talk a little bit about BMC Footprint version 12. And that's what I have displayed on the screen right now, in fact. Um, and today's videos are gonna be divided up into a few different segments. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for all of them. Uh, the purpose in our first segment is just to give you a high level overview of what Footprint is and a little bit of functionality sneak peek. And we'll follow that up with another segment on some administration capabilities and talk about the fact that Footprints is a codeless solution. And we'll wrap it all up with a discussion about how you can get some of your own information into and therefore out of Footprints so that you can report on it and search for the information that you would like. So first things first, Footprints is a 100% web-based product. And as you can see on the screen, I'm actually logged in using Chrome in this case. You can easily use Internet Explorer or any other uh, browser that you'd like. It doesn't matter what platform you happen to be browsing in Footprints from. You can browse from your handheld devices as surely as you can browse from your laptops or desktops. In fact, in my particular case, I'm actually doing this on my Mac. I'll sneak that over a little bit. You can see I'm running this on a virtual machine on my Macintosh laptop. So you can absolutely run it in a virtual machine in your own environments too. As a web-based solution, that means that Footprints doesn't require any client. So nothing has to be installed at any place in your environment. As long as you have a web browser that's available, you can access Footprints, no installations on the desktops. You will, of course, have to set Footprints up in a server environment, but because Footprints takes a relatively small architectural footprint, sorry for that pun, you have varied choices for where you can place Footprints in your organization to make sure that it lives and breathes inside of an architecture that you can support. And it really only takes a database server, which is SQL, and an operating system, which is Windows, or you can run it on a Linux OS, and you can use Postgres as your database. Now, Footprints is also 100% codeless. So what that means is the stuff that we'll talk about a little bit today is all done through a codeless point-and-click interface. In our next segment, we'll talk a little bit about that point-and-click interface and how you can use it to create the forms and the data that you'd like. Being codeless means that you do not have to ever write a stitch of code. No programming, no Java scripting required. You don't even have to know how to spell DBA or SQL in order to make footprints work because the DBAs don't really have a whole lot to do in maintaining or even setting up the solution. It creates its own database tables, et cetera, behind the scenes. As a codeless solution, that also means that when you have ideas or needs from a business perspective that need to be created quickly, Footprint offers very quick ramp up time both in learning the solution and especially in getting your ideas created inside of it so your processes can be managed. And Footprint manages those processes with a, with a concept that's unique to Footprint. That concept is called the workspace. Now, a workspace in Footprints is basically the collection of data that you would put on a form, right, information that you might put on a form so that you can manage a given process. Many of you may have PDF forms in your organization or Word documents that you've created so that you can capture the data that you need to manage a process, right? And then that form, in turn, gets passed around through email in your company so that you can ensure that the right people have eyes on it and it gets filled in appropriately, et cetera. Well, in Footprints, that separate form that you pass around is really a workspace, and it contains not just the field information, right, not just the stuff on that Word document or PDF that you may be passing around now, but Footprints contains all of the workflow, all of the ticket of signees, all of the approval processes or other processes that you might need to be able to manage the entire life cycle of the request that you process in that form. So workspaces and footprints are free. You can have as many of them as you want. And we do have many customers who have workspaces numbering in the hundreds to manage all the aspects of their business. So hundreds of different forms in your own company could be converted into workspaces inside of footprints so that you can then manage those requests as you'd like. And a workspace is really different one from the other, just like your forms are different one from the other. If we're going to make an incident request, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, Pretty much everything inside of here is out of box except for a few values like my choices that I added in. And the reason that I've added some of these goofier values on my form is so that you can see the, the values that are here and the stuff that we're showing you is really just out of box content, but, but I can add whatever fields I'd like. I can make whatever values I need. I can have hundreds of fields on this form or I can only have three if I would like. 
whatever your process calls for in terms of data that needs to be gathered, you can gather that information in Footprints, and therefore you can use Footprints to begin to manage your processes. And not just IT processes, right? You can use it to manage other kinds of processes as well. Maybe your organization does project work, right? Maybe you have project management requests that you make. Footprints can take project request tickets and begin to capture the information necessary. You can see that I have included a goofy project stuff field on this form as well, just to give you an idea that, hey, my form for project management and yours may be very different. You can add whatever details you'd like. Now, in my project form, you see I capture information about a sponsor and a project overview and capture attachments, and any activity that goes on inside of this project are capturable, so any appointments that may happen, schedules for people to work on things. This workspace, this form for managing projects, is different than the workspace for managing incidents, different layout, different information, different data captured. And that, in turn, can be different from any form that you may capture in your organization. So Footprints remains flexible so that you can use it in the ways that you need to. Now, each of these forms, each of these workspaces can be leveraged for a variety of processes. Some of those are IT processes, right? You may use them for change management. And if you guys practice change, it's good to know that Footprints will let, let you manage that process as surely as any other to its own form and its own workflow behind the scenes. So in short, Footprints is a 100% web-based solution that allows you to install no clients on your desktops, right? Not at all, you don't have to worry about keeping any of that up to date. It's browser agnostic, so you can use any browser that you choose from any platform that you happen to have. It will run on your virtual machines that you have in your organization or on full servers, and it's a very small architectural footprint to get you up and running. But Footprints being a codeless solution means that the changes that you make in the tool are all done without code. And Footprints contains a very unique concept known as the workspace that allows you to manage any kinds of requests that you may have, no matter what the process is that you need to realize. If that process has a beginning, middle, and an end, and it involves someone requesting something, then you can absolutely manage that inside of Footprints, no matter what the process. So in our next segment, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can make Footprints look and feel the way you would like. With that, we'll sign off of this segment, and I'll see you on our next installment.